Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Solar Gene and coming from where we left off last time we launched our ship successfully and handed over to our, our contract and we've launched our other ship ready to meet the moon orbit so we can hopefully start the lunar, the lunar colony. Now we're going to do our own lunar colo colony as well as the Indian lunar colony as well to complete that task. Meanwhile we're going to try and earn a little bit more credits so that we can hopefully offset the cost that we've used to start this little operation. So uh, we've got some research going. We've got two. I think they're both looking for the same research, if I remember rightly. Self-regulating semiconductors and self-regulating semiconductors. Excellent. Let's double check and see what we've got. We've got synthetic meat. I'm going to accept that because we've got to build a ship. Which does give us a little bit more credits now because we're getting a better relation as well. But let's go ahead and run that campaign there. We've got another builder ship for nine people from China. We've got tourists and cargo delivery. I'm thinking we might do this one this time. Now that we've got a potential for creating some resources, we might be able to do this with a bit more profit. So let's accept that one from China. Let's see what we've got from Europe. Our relation with Europe is still not the best at the moment, so we definitely need to try and fix that up. So let's go ahead and build a ship for Europe as well. So we've got contracts for every single um, nation at the moment. Obviously, China and Europe are the two that we're going to have to launch ships for. So let's go on to Earth and launch a station into orbit. We're still not researching uh, to make it a little bit cheaper for us. So it's not the best in the world. But let's go ahead and launch the first one. This one it actually launched from China as well. Let's go ahead and uh, China contract ship. There we go. Then we need another one, which launch from Bam. And this one will be NATO. Got so two more contract ships to do. We've got the lunar ship already on its way, and we've got our Earth orbit ISS in a good position as well. We've still got our issues with the scientific stuff which we'll hopefully resolve once we do a bit more research um matter of fact have we we've done the silicon computer so let's just have a look and see if we can uh can have a look at that now and see if we can actually get some better computers which might be able to help us out a little bit we'll just wait for it to load up here go right awesome got our bio here we go, our server room here. Okay, so we've got... Now, this is going to take a lot of power from us as well, so we've got to be really careful here. Uh, first of all, let's see how that's facing. Not letting me move it now. Let's assemble that. Does that require... No, it doesn't require use. Rotate it around this time. Alright, since these are the new ones, we'll place these nicely against this wall here. And. Four new computers. We're already at 48% of the scientific research. Obviously, that's going to increase our uh, usage of our batteries, so we've got to be careful of that. I definitely want to start using some nuclear power sooner rather than later because that's going to help us long term, I believe. Um, let's have a look. That's a big ass server for what it's given us. Oh, let's not use that one. The rest are all one for ones. I feel like that's. Is that just a bigger. Well, it's actually smaller. Let's place that on the, on the middle deck. Ideally. Slightly cheaper though, actually. Let's assemble that one. Let's assemble that one as well. Place them back in. Go. Against the wall. They fit nicely, and then we're placing them. Okay, excellent. 
73% for computer power. That's good. The only thing that we obviously haven't got that we've uh, not been able to improve on is obviously in terms of our computer science um, things. So obviously we've still got the one for ones in here, unfortunately. Um, there isn't really a great lot we can do about that at the moment. But at least we've got our science, you know, computer stuff all sorted out. We'll need to look into the research side of things soon. Now, obviously, the last time we left, we've got a new cuisine area, which is built lovely. It looks amazing as a three-story. I didn't think it would work. We've also got our new bio uh, center as well, which, again, is a three-tier, but we've not really done much with it. So we're now producing hydrocarbons, so we can do some more with that. But the one thing that I want to concentrate on is to try and get my industrial up and running at the moment, because we've obviously got, we've, well, we've got a couple of things that we want to do. We can turn our CO2 and hydrogen into oxygen or more bio um, hydrocarbons, but we've got an even better thing that we can do. So right now we can turn water into oxygen and hydrogen, what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and place that into there. We can then turn, if we wish, all of that back into water, but it's not a good trade-off. Then we can turn our oxygen and hydrogen into basically rocket fuel. What I want to do today. I'm going to go ahead and place that there. We can also turn any of our hydrocarbons that we've got. So we've got some hydrocarbons here. Once this starts stacking up nicely, I'm going to probably place a methane fuel production in. So that we can, obviously, because it's hydrogen and methane basically, that's what we're producing, but both are used as fuel. Um, so yeah, so we're set with that. So we've got our ice into water. We've obviously got these producing here. We can also produce some, um, with this as well. Uh, we can actually build, make some polymers by using the hydrocarbons and the oxygen. We make polymer which is what i'd rather use the hydrocarbon for because at the end of the day that's going to be better for us so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to place this now, this is a big thing this but i'm going to place it in the middle of the room then when that does get up we will hopefully have enough to then produce it and we're not using any of that to try and make anything I'm only going to use one person for this room because realistically we're only going to be able to do one thing at once. We may get a second person in at a later stage, but right now we've got research and hospitality in our six rooms. If we start adding more people, we're going to have a lot more rooms and a lot more requirement. So before anything, let us start looking at our accommodation. Now again, the only downside I have to this is I've not figured out a way yet on being able to have it where I can have like multiple rooms. There's no elevators, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I do wish they were, there was an elevator system. However, it doesn't stop us using it for other things. Let's double check and see what we've got. We could always use a spacious living space, which is basically multiple people sharing the same room. Or we could just give them bigger living quarters, or taller living quarters. I'm not too sure. If I'm honest, at this stage. Right now, I've only got the plan to basically make living quarters on one floor. So, I'm going to go ahead and set that up now. Again, we've got something that we can place down here, and I'll figure out what I'm going to place down there soon. It may be something, um, maybe more storage, or something like that, or if we get something like uh, maybe some power supply or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to put nuclear underneath where our people are living, because I think that's crazy. And you wouldn't have somebody near, near something that's radioactive anyway. But it doesn't stop us thinking about some things that we can do for storage. And then we can obviously replace the storage if we so wish. Um, I'm going to leave it blank for now. Because I may actually think of a way to bring this down. Because the only other option we've got is basically making this, with the light, with the, which is the steps. And it's just not going to work right for us. Um, the other alternative is having it where it's five rooms underneath. And this is our way of getting down. 
it's not a major deal at the moment. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get some more rooms though. This is going to be six rooms. Again, basic rooms, nothing special right now. Um, I think I put bathrooms in on the last ones, so I'm going to give them bathrooms when I don't close the wrong screen. Let's go ahead and place down the beds first. Round. Go. And the final one. Go. Right. And then we just need a bathroom. Again, there is no bonus to this. I just think it might make our colonists a little bit happier if we if they have a bathroom. I don't know if it actually does make an impact on it. But I'd rather have it in than not have it in. Because if it does do something. Well, at least we've got it and it's doing its job. Oh, so. ah, there we go. And the final one in. Excellent. Six more rooms ready to go. That means we can hire another person now. So let's go ahead and we'll go for. We're still going to go for our European because we haven't got any other cuisines yet. This time we're going to go for industrial. I'm actually going to bring in two people so they can both work hard. In that area so that's everything set in this station so let's let, let's get things rolling uh, what's this oh something popped up and then disappeared again right that's our rotation off so let's I want to see how the power supply is gonna do that's the, my main concern is whether or not the new the new servers are gonna cause too much drain on our power supply Certainly not charging as well as it used to. But that doesn't mean that it's going to drain. Let's see how it goes. But we are managing to get a full charge at the moment. Two jobs. That's fine, we know about that. Industrial zone. Assign the staff. Four out of two potential jobs there. You're waiting for hydrogen, that's fine. We've got the ice, so... Once the ice does begin, we get hydrogen from it. Not quite sure why they're, what they're waiting on or something. But they're both heading over to the, there. Not even made it to the job yet. Have a look. The one's trying to make. There we go. The one's making our hydrogen and oxygen. And one's melting the ice. Perfect. And then obviously, once we get hydrocarbons, it's then going to make polymers for us. So we should start seeing liquid fuel and polymers start to increase, which is good for us because that means we don't have to spend that now when we come to making a new. Um, a new ship, which we've got two obviously to do. Um, my research is slower than I expected, which concerns me. I expect it to be much faster than that. I need to keep an eye on that. They may have gone for a rest. Fine. So, yeah, they're producing things fine. Um. Definitely going to have to order more ice, which is absolutely fine. What else do we need to order? Let's have a look, shall we? Well, we need more components. We need more of a lot of things, actually, to be fair. Right, so let's go ahead and get uh, 4,000 U, 5,000 U. Um, I think that's everything we need. Maybe some more electronics, maybe? 2,000 electronics. Cost me a fortune, but there we go. Go ahead and deliver that. Again, where I was mentioning about the storage, this is where I think the storage may be a prime opportunity in our lower section of the apartments. Um, as a matter of fact, I am going to call it, it's going to be storage. I think it's going to be a better option for us because there's more room for whatever we need. Where else? Here we go. Oh, 
obviously, as we start to upgrade, we're going to have better storage anyway. I just think it's better. There we go. Finish construction. Head into here. So we we have some larger boxes, but still nothing major at the moment. Um, we definitely need to wait until we get the bigger ones. But let's go ahead and stack a few things in here. I like the like the bits and bobs. Like I don't like it where it's completely organized because people wouldn't. They they just drop things in here. It won't necessarily mean that it's all organized. But when we come to our new stories with like the shelving and stuff like that, that's when it starts getting a bit more organized. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can put an outer wall on this, an outer door on this. That's not an airlock door. So we can. So I know it's completely useless, but we now have a reason for it to be. As a matter of fact, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna let's remove it off that wall. Let's put it on that wall there. That's how astronauts would be getting in if they needed to do anything in the storage. That's how I'm going to say it. It, it. it makes me feel better having something that's a little bit more realistic like that. How's our storage doing? Storage is absolutely fine. We'll keep an eye out on the storage now, but we've got plenty of room for more stuff that we can stock up in both rooms. Obviously, we've got that one, and we've got the other one somewhere around. Yeah, I'm happy with how we're doing. Right. Let's get some stuff sent over to the other stations. So we've got the China one that we need to send over. So 300. Uh, as a matter of fact. Oh, screenshot there. We don't need a screenshot. 1,000 for you. 200 of you. Uh, 100 of you. 200 of you. Uh, 200 of you. Uh, 40 rations. And oxygen. Uh, we'll not send anything like liquid fuel just yet. Send that over to China. And then we'll send a rough amount to the other station as well. Not exact, but it'll do. We're probably going to need more than that. Right. To the NATO ship. Now, arguments would say that we're about the same as where we were before, and we've now got two ships to try and build, but the difference is, is we've got things that are producing us resources, such as liquid fuel and polymer, which both are resources that we're going to need an abundance of. So I'm not too worried at this stage. You can see that as the water gets produced, it's, it's getting turned into hydrogen and oxygen. We're using oxygen, so I don't need to buy a supply of oxygen anymore. And hopefully we'll start seeing liquid fuel and polymer get increased. I think polymer has gone up slightly. Obviously, that's just what, as and when hydrocarbons arrive. So we're just going to wait for them shuttles to go back and forward for a little bit. Research is definitely slow, which is really concerning. Go ahead to the solar system and let's get things moving a little bit. Okay, how's our Luna doing? Oh, we've got a solar flare. Okay, research seems to be a little bit faster. Oh, component shortage, that, that could have an effect on us. Okay, All right, let's head over to the China contract ship. Let's uh, switch to the station. They're completely full, which is expected. Oh, what that one, the construction panel. Uh, we haven't got enough motors. That's something we definitely need to consider. Uh, there we go. Gear 
would definitely need 48 mortars. Let's just see if I can send the 48 over. Might not let me. Because it is completely full. We are struggling on power supply. As expected. Try and send over to China. There we go. No. So we can't. Um, that's fine. Let's let's sort out the power issues I've got here for now. Is it going to 100%? It's not. Or at least it's going to struggle. So. Get underneath. And let's think about what we were doing with our power cells. So, what? Two, three. I think they're the back of that. One. That way. Four. Okay, excellent. One, two, three, four, eight. We've got eight on here. One. One, six. Actually, the rotating section. Oh, construction bots need charging. While well, they're charging up. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to press. I wanted to stop the rotation, not to... Go to the contract, sh uh, the NATO ship. Okay. We've only got two days to do this. Right. If we can... Go. Instant resolve. Same for NATO. The storage. Storage about. Box down. It resolved. We'll send over a hundred for each. And we'll stop the rotation for now. Go. European cuisine. How are we missing European cuisine? We have all the resources. Just head on over to the tower. Six. One. Five. Go. Then our final, final lot here. Go where I want to go. Uh, perfect. Right. Hopefully, we'll not have any problems now. Hopefully. Obviously, we do have low charge at the moment because it's not had full time in the sun. Hopefully, when it does go into the sun. And now. I've got two people wanting European cuisine. We, we should have enough, and I'm not sure why we don't have enough European cuisine. Do we not have enough tables, maybe? Why is that not actually... I'm not quite sure why that's not...
He's not going to the floor that he should be going to. Um, which is interesting. Should be going to the floor above. Let's, uh, okay, let's put that, that back in. I'm going to place another... I'll place a larger table down here. Place a four table. Yeah. And then I'm going to place a... struggling to put it where I want to put it. Okay. Relocate this back to where it was. Right, what are you doing? Now unoccupied. You are assigned to the cafe, so I don't know why it's not actually doing anything. Why are you not actually going to the cafe in cuisine? You have to be on. You are actually in the same module as that. So I don't know why it's not. Okay, you are all available for European. Where's our second? Hmm. I'm not quite sure why it's not working. We miss it. We must be missing fruit, vegetables, and wheat was the only ones that it requested. Let's uh, let's just add all the food resources. I mean, we're gonna need them all anyway. All of them. It doesn't say I'm short on anything, so I don't know why it's not producing it. I also don't know why this guy here is just wandering around aimlessly. Like literally not doing anything. It's almost as if he's stuck, but not stuck. We'll hire another chef just to... Just in case there is something fundamentally wrong with this. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got tables enough for ten. No idea. Okay, right, let's con continue with our ship. We'll have to just... Oh, we haven't sent the resources over, have we? Let's head on back. I think it might have just fixed the problem as well. No, it hasn't. Buy. No, we don't want to buy. We want to transfer. A hundred to each. Go. What's that problem? Uh, power plants have a room. Storage, I buy it. Next. Storage. Our research. Research. The hospital. We're going to need some recreation, I think. 
Let's create a recreation room. Let's try and make our people a little bit comfier, shall we? Whilst we're waiting for them supplies to head on over. Recreation. Here we go. And orientate itself whilst I place the boxes down. There we go, finish construction. Let's head on in. Okay, so one lot of stairs. And second lot of stairs. Go. Um the only downside to that is right fights we can actually resolve that we don't need we can actually set recliner chairs up here now if you want a nice relaxing sit down they can do place one there and i'm actually going to move this one over Here, coffee table. And that's about all you're getting, I'm afraid. Go, nope. start of our recreation. Okay, nobody's getting food for some reason. I don't know why. I wonder if it's because it's automatic, it's turned itself off when the power went off. So we try and turn it off and back on again. Right now. Turn it off, the robot still goes back and forward. I think it's because it thinks that this robot should be doing it. Problem is, is I can't get rid of him. Sign our third staff member. Unassign him? I don't think we can even unassign. Won't let me do anything. Right, let's try that. Send him over there. Oh, obviously, I'll bring him back again. Hmm. If it's one of the other staff, we could just deport them. Apparently, you can't deport a robot. Okay. Robot's still here. Robot's gone. Research has been met. Excellent. So we've now got. Oh, I wonder if we've got new computer stuff. Right. I'll bring that. I'll send that character back over in a second. I'm wondering if I redo this. I try and redo it so it's a little bit more friendly. I'm going to. But I think there's something fundamentally wrong with this. Let's go ahead and follow this. Basically, going to have it work from the top deck here. They can get everywhere, basically. Move them while there's no. So, internal flooring. Remove this internal flooring here. Right. Place this internal flooring here. So, what I think I'm going to have to do. I didn't know you could do that with a. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm placing internal flooring around the ladders. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like so.
So basically, they now have access. Having that floor in there, that makes things a little bit easier, actually. So, they can get, they should be able to get down to everywhere. So, let's uh, move this over. We'll have one. I still think having it one here. And got the two piece. That's good. See, I don't like it like that, actually. Let's put it on the ground floor. So, got two here. A single. Single. Excellent. Uh, also do this as well. Well, I prefer that actually. That one. And this. Can't put them. Ah. Got the single and the double looking nicely together there. Then we're going to need. Bridges, which is the face in the wrong bloody way. Oh, for G. One fridge. Fridge. And then we're going to need some staff seating. I honestly think just placing the like this. Best way. Place the third one on the table underneath here, I think. Oh, that's kind of cool there. We'll place a big round one. So, well, it's four, eight, twelve, sixteen seats available. Right, let's see how that does. Make sure our staff are assigned. It still says now unoccupied. Something we've broken. Yeah, that goes. Still not showing. Where are you? Uh, I have no idea why they're inside there. <laughs> this just stuck. power all right power plant power plants just wonder if there's something wrong with the nodes to find now honestly no idea why it's broken we haven't got time because we've got synthetic for me to do get that done we've got one day to do these two ships so let's get these done got a lot of time trying to fix it go right how many people is this going to be for this is the China one. Got nine members. So 
hallway. Here we are, squid. NATO contract ship. Also for six members, so that's not too bad. So we only need one component thing for you. Go. The last one. Materials. Okay, right. Let's head on over. Good components for each. Two hundred two. I'm going to send my robots over to China. See if that breaks the cycle of whatever's going on with them. Go. They'll send the components over. Getting fuel. Nice. Not sure about polymer because we've used quite a lot of polymer. Okay, right. Let's head over to the China contract ship. And let's send over our chef. We need electronics as well. Right, we can sort the electronics out. Come on. Right, that's our uh, robot gone away. So while that's doing that, let's go and send some more electronics to them. Okay, let's send over some of these resources. Electronics. Send. Send 50 over for now. We might need to send more, but it's fine. Okay. Let's uh, do a quick fast forward. Um, how's our lunar ship looking? Still on track? Look at that, nearly there. Complete our research, so we've got some new resources. Right. What research we can get out of these guys now? No research for you. Research high temperature construction materials. Might be potential for us there. Our temperature construction materials definite, definite. I think. Right, China contract ship. Speed ups. Get you over back over to where you're supposed to belong. Okay, let's get to back to what we're supposed to be doing. Living space. Space. We only need three on this side. Oh, not enough materials again. We've run out of construction materials. It's very expensive. Only six for this one. Let's go ahead and uh, get our six limb. On. Not sure why that's playing. We're trying to delete a block. Let's 
Seemed a bit strange there, but there we go. Uh, but we do need a hallway. See if we can get two hallways going. We need some more construction materials. Let's go ahead into our bedrooms. Again, basics for the bedrooms. There's a bed in each one. We need to put a, a doorway in each one as well. I might not have the resource. Oh, I do have the resource. Cheap door. Go. Cheap roll. Uh, yeah, we need some more construction materials. Okay. I'm wondering if it's because they're working, but then they're old like that. Hmm. I honestly don't know why. I do not know why. Send over some more resources. And we can get these tasks complete for these guys. Okay, right, let's fast forward it quickly. Well, that's a robot's also returning. Not that it's going to do anything for us. Still looks cool when it rotates like that. That might actually have been the components. We're, we're really low on components, actually. Still stocked out on them. But we should have had enough to hopefully complete the task anyway. That's our hallway. bigger hallway here. Wait, drop some resources, come on. There we go. Then the bed. Excellent. Right, let's get the apartment complexes done. We're also going to need doors as well, again. Of these. We're also going to need doors in this one. Three. That's the wrong one. Is that construction? Bedding in. I have a feeling we may be low on uh, polymer for this one. This one's obviously for nine people, so I have a horrible feeling we're going to run out of it. Been too bad. Right, this is also jobs for nine people as well, which is going to be the problem because we've also got no bulbs or lamps. Uh, so, can't do anything with that now. What do they require? Needs a minimum for us of 63. I believe that should be three engines. Go, one, two, three. Be enough. Yep, it is enough. Excellent. So we'll just need a fuel at some stage for that. So now that's all that's left is to basically build something that's going to give them work. This one's going to be a little easier to do. This is only for six people. Or Got the hallway and what I'm going to do here is, well, as a matter of fact, we could have just put the hospital. The whole thing, but it's fine. Let's see if we can get the beds in now. 
these are what's concerning me in both instances because they're going to use a lot of everything Easy. Yep, so more polymer. Seven, twenty-two, and eight. Twenty-two. Got plenty of everything else. Too bad. Oh, I forgot to put the. Eighty one polymer. Not gonna be enough. Purchase some more polymer. Uh three thousand polymer. Stock up on our order while we're there. Expensive supplies. Down to about twelve mil now. Hey, they're not European. Are they assigned European cuisine? I don't think they're actually assigned. But, oh, so they definitely weren't going to work for us because I didn't assign them. Let's see how that goes. Are they actually doing anything now? see if let's see if turning one of these on is going to do anything do anything our staff are extremely unhappy and I have absolutely no reason why I'm unhappy I'm going to put the charging platforms down here in case this is also a new one why are you not forward oh, Just in case they're trying to get to the charge platforms and that's what's causing the... I don't think it is, but... So we need more plates. Yep. Fully powered. That off because we don't need it. We got pressures in there, fine. Yep. Just go out of eight. That's the only thing I don't get is why there's no ready meal. There's going to be something that I'm missing and I don't know what. But I'm going to buy some more of you. We need it. And we're going to call it there. So, as I say, no idea why the cuisine's not working. I'm going to do a quick restart of the game whilst we switch over. And then we will uh, hopefully have the other two stations ready to go and launch on the next episode. So, join me for that. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying the gameplay all the same. As I say, I don't know why there is an issue with this. Until I'm looking more into it. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. And I shall see you.